Hi friends, now we are going to talk about how we can find the purchase orders that has been closed. So this transaction will take you there, M E Q M. Okay. So generally a purchase order is closed when the delivery com complete indicator and the final invoice indicator is set. Okay. So how we can find those? So here you can see there is no field sales, these, but whenever you go to a standard transaction code, reporting transaction code, no matter what it is, it's related with FICO, it's related with MM, it's related with SD. When you have this field, that means you have more selection criteria. So you click on this and here you will go to the purchasing document items and here you will just look for that. So the searching piece, it's a little difficult here, okay, because you have to, I wish SAP could have built something where you can do a find button, okay, so yes, the find and buttons are uh, disabled and I cannot click on the right click also. So what I can do here you can see delivery complete indicate and the financing piece. So I just double click on when you double click each okay it shows up here okay and I click on X and I click on X okay and here and you set up the plant as start okay now I'll execute okay now once once I do that, so suppose these are all the PO numbers and the lines. So if I double click on it, okay, and here you can see the delivery complete is set, and in the invoice tab, the final invoice is set. So in this way you can find it out very easily. And what I can do, uh, what I will ask you to do is also when you build this. So if you go now, here you cannot find that whatever has been set. So what you can do is probably you can create a variant okay so that you don't have to set it every time okay or you can enhance this particular transaction code uh, using through SE36 or something to make this mandatory okay to make this show up here so what let me show you what I'm talking about so let me go here final invoice delivery completed okay and I'll make this X I'll make this X and here I'll just select final suppose PCI and I'll just press test and I'll save it. Now I go back and I go to the same transaction again, only to n Let me see whether it shows up. And here if I click on this and if I do DCI, okay, here you can see it's active. You click on this, you have this set and you can export. In this way, you can save the radian so that you don't have to select it from the dynamic solution. So that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and have a happy SAP learning. And if you like it, share and subscribe to it and have a great day.